Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. It's your boy Lucas. Yeah, bruh, bruh, bruh. And then today's video, uh, we're going to be going through a video that I uploaded the other day uh, when I decided to do a, another Ouija board session and the board uh, calmly went, calmly said, well it didn't calmly say it, but it said on the board, it spelt out calmly close the session. Um, we're going to be having a little talk about that video. Uh, if you don't know what video it is, uh, it'll be this video that I'll bring up on screen right now. And I'll leave a link to it down in the description. But before we uh, continue with this video, only 58.5% of you watching this watching this video are not subscribed. Make sure you get subscribed. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload. Make sure you follow me on all social medias. My links will be in the description or I'll bring them up on screen. But the more, basically, the, it's free to do. I mean, just subscribe. It's free to do. I mean, it don't cost you anything. It just helps me out. But I will return the favour. Anyway, we're going to be talking about this video in Pacific. Uh, where I decided to do another Ouija board session. And we're going to be talking about another video. Which is, which a YouTuber by the name of Mama uh, done a video regarding my video that I've done and she brought up the necrophonic she done the necrophonic side of it where she was listening to the voices and bringing up what was being said in the video from the voices that was coming through on the necrophonic app which uh, mama if you're watching this I, th I really do appreciate what you have done and I thank you very much um, everyone the link to her channel will be in the description the link to her video will be in the description as well make sure you follow her subscribe you know show some love because she done what I completely forgot to do and we're going to be talking about that video bringing up certain points in general and then we might be doing a necrophonic session regarding regarding that video anyway um, I did make some quick notes on my computer regarding um, that video but when I when I was doing the video, I was taking into account of what was happening, what was being said on the necrophonic, but I just completely forgot to include it in the video. I included some things that were said, but I completely forgot. Honestly, I actually did forget. But just to narrow it down, um, there was quite a lot of things that was uh, coming through. And then there was things like it was saying, thought you didn't believe us, thought you didn't even wait, told you he wouldn't believe us. And then there was a telling on both sides. Now that telling him on both sides could be referring to God as God being both good and evil. Um, I could be mistaken, I could be wrong, but if I'm wrong just don't hesitate to correct me down in the comments, you know, let me know. But one thing that confuses me is this, you broke a lonely spirit. Now that could be referring to numerous people, like, because I haven't been myself just lately. I've been off and on with my videos, off and on with my recording, and personally in my life I've just been off and, off and on as well, because I've got a lot of things going on in the background. So I'm trying to mix all these things together with doing my videos. <clears throat> so uh, me breaking a lonely spirit could be down to uh, numerous things, numerous types of people. It could be coming down to countless people actually. Um, then it says something like, I am, you laugh, because we brought someone up. Um, bringing someone up, it could be anyone that they brought up. I mean, my uncle has not long passed away. Well, it's been about since March he passed away. 13th of March he passed away. Or, or April. I'm forgetting the days. Oh, no, no, it's May. 13th of May he passed away. <clears throat> I keep getting confused between the days. And then when I asked it its name, it said vaguely small who airs satan tested it is this for real then it says between me and you i'm late doomed her help 
when it, what it means by doomed her help, it could be that someone's offered me help and I've I've been ignorant and I've turned that help down or I'm just not listening which I do have a short attention span like I'm not gonna lie I have a really short attention span so attention to detail is slightly my thing but it's not my thing at the same time if you know what I mean but then something that was alarming which come on I just wanna taste it takes about 40 years we walk all year got it and then it brought up my daughter they said we warned or your daughter I mean I'm gonna be asking some of these when we do the necrophonic session but if these spirits that's going on that's happening they know that I am pretty much fearless it'll, it'll it will take a certain few things to like, you know, make me jump, make me react to it. But to experience full-blown fear with it, that is something I'm still yet to achieve. Because I do not fear anything. I mean, fearing death. It's like everyone says, oh, I'm scared of death. Death is a beautiful truth. Don't be scared of death. You should be scared of the life that you live now. But I'm more scared of the life that, I'm live, that I live now more than I'm scared of death. Because the way I see it is, life's just a big lie. Death is just a beautiful truth. And that's true. But we're going to just be skimming through. Skimming through. I'm just going to be going through key points. If you want to see the full video, head on over to Mama's channel, whose link will be in the description. Then we'll be doing a nice little necrophonic session. But then... Uh, there was push the man aside, Lucas, he won't do it. And also he who knew and you only knew. But when that was slowed down, it it come across as push demand a sign. So I think what that was telling me to do is when I was doing the Ouija board, it wanted me to demand a sign to let them know that they're here. But I'm not going to be doing that for the simple fact is if you push demand a sign for a Ouija board you're giving them access to enter enter out of the board or enter into where you are whereas if you do not push the demand a sign they're still locked away they're still locked that they can't do anything so if you was to say demand a sign then that's giving them the ability to give you a sign to prove that they are there so that therefore gives them the ability to attach, to attach themselves to you. I mean, I'm not a thick person. I may do stupid things, but I'm highly intelligent. I know my shit. And then uh, it says how I wanted to do it and also she knew. Uh, when it comes to she knew, I think it's referring to mama. I'm 100% sure it's referring to mama. Because something is coming, something is happening. I just sent a shadow on my wall. And something will happen. I mean, whether it's going to be World War Three or anything, it's 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 a possibility. Like with my dreams, just lately, and I will get to that point in a minute because that is this is seriously fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, <clears throat> it says here, I am warning you only, and she won't burn. Think love, you bear the cross. Think girl, he guess. Mission, prove us. Us see how you watch, I'm coming. Isn't up to me and jinx the world. What I think when it, remain, when it, when it refers to, and she won't burn, is again is something or someone that's close to me in life in real life someone that I'm close to someone that I adore someone that I love it seems like because this thing can't get to me because I'm unaffected by it I'm not scared of it I mean I, I will point blank tell it to go fuck itself I don't care 
I know you're not meant to disrespect the spirit, but if something evil was trying to get to me, I'm going to tell it to go shove itself. I don't mind good spirits, because that's just me. But when it comes to evil spirits, yo, you are not taking control of me. I can tell you that now. I don't care. I'm too strong for that. But anyway, back to where I'm going. Uh, think love, you bear the cross. Now, when it comes to think love, you bear the cross. I think love all the time. I mean, I think about people that I care about. I think about people that I love. I think about a lot of things. Like, I've got a million thoughts a day. But what it means by bear the cross is what I'm slightly confused about. Because um, I currently, I recently asked my mum to see if I was baptised or christened or anything like in my young younger life or when I was growing up and she said no but my granddad, my, which was my dad's dad, he used to be like, he basically was a priest, like he lived his life via the Bible, he done things by the Bible, I mean it was what we like to call Bible basher, but he's not a Bible basher, he was very, very Catholic, if that's the name for it. He was very in touch with God and Jesus. He had his beliefs and his disbeliefs and that's who he was. And then that went down to my dad. Then somewhere along the lines from when it got to my dad to me is completely weird because I've been having things happen to me my entire life. And that's not even a lie. But think girl think girl what I think it means by think girl is because, because I have a girl that lives with me and she's amazing I, I do have a girl that lives with me and she's amazing I'm not going to tell you who it is I'm going to let you all jump to conclusions because at the end of the day yeah, it's secret to me I'm not going to blot it all out because that's not me but I think when it comes to think girl it wants me to think about the girl that's living with me or it could be to think about my daughter, but I always think about my daughter and I know my daughter's safe. It's just I'm too messed up, I'm too messed up, I'm too fucked up. And then it goes through to jinx the world. I'm a little shit when it comes to jinxing people. I'm not going to lie, I do jinx pretty much everyone. Everyone has, everyone's there telling me, oh you jinx me you bastard. Or stop jinxing me or you're gonna jinx me because I have this tendency of say saying what's going to happen um, and in some lines 90% of the time that what I say happens does actually happen but there's that odd 10% where it don't happen so it's like it's like I'm playing with fate here. But, Mama, if you're watching this, this is what's confusing me the most. It come and said, own the tape. What does it mean by own the tape? Because everything is done digitally. Digitally? Fucking hell. Why can I not say that word? Everything is done via SD card. Like, all my footage is just saved to a SD card and then it's transferred over to my computer. And what I think it means by own the tape is owning the footage. So it's something to do with that specific footage of the video that I've done which makes, which there's something I'm missing, there's something missing. So it probably means I've got to pay more attention to the footage of the videos that I do. I've got to pay more attention to the backgrounds, the surroundings, the noise, what's happening. I need to pay more attention to it, which obviously I know I need to do that. You can move more power. Now that can be numerous, numerous things. Could be that there's something about me which I haven't unlocked to my full potential. I mean, there's things that I can kind of do and things that I kind of struggle to do, but it's like, 
it's like deep inside me I know I can do it whether it's like little little bit of uh, telekinetic powers or subconscious something to do with the subconscious oh it's like when I dream I can't get to that yet because that's that's weird you know what so I'm going to go straight to that actually. I'm going to skip straight to that. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I know there's a lot of things that I'm missing out mama. And I do apologise but I'm just trying to not make this video as long as possible. Because I do want to do a necrophonic session. But there's some things I do want to explain. Oh yes. Uh, oh and apparently I'm going to burn. That could be down. So I'm sorry to just have my thought process just scattered all all over the place. At the moment, I've got scatterbrain. I'm not gonna lie, I've got scatterbrain. But where it says you're going to burn, that's gonna be that's gonna be come down to basically it says that I'm gonna see in my dream what what's gonna happen. Then when it says like you're gonna burn, it just makes me think of that specific dream that I had and when I mean that like that dream was fucked up like I've had some messed up dreams in my lifetime like I've had dreams I've basically felt the heat of a nuclear blast I've had dreams where I've been just walking around and I'm snapping people's necks just for the fun of it and I'm laughing while I'm doing it I've had dreams where I'm hurting people, I've had dreams where I'm killing people, I've had dreams where I've watched everyone burn, I've had dreams where I've watched the world explode. I've had that many messed up dreams. It's like, it, to me it feels like when I go to sleep in this life, I wake up in an alternate life. So there's a theory of multiple, univer multiple universes, like multiple realities, different realities, like parallel universes or something similar to that and what I think is happening is every time I'm going to sleep I'm waking up in another reality in a different reality because they try and say that like you can't tell time you can't look in the mirror you can't like there's certain things that you can't do in dreams but I can do it it's like I had this one dream and the time was half twelve in the afternoon, literally half twelve in the afternoon. Something happened in this dream, yeah. And I've I've literally looked down at the time like this because I had a watch on my arm. I had like an old-fashioned watch on my arm. It was made of bronze, but it had leather straps, and the time was it had the numbers on it, and it was exactly half twelve, and the the seconds was going by, so I'm like thinking to myself, ah, oh, am I dreaming? Is this a dream? Am I awake? What's happening? The next thing you know, all I've heard is alarms. I've heard air, air raid sirens going off. I've heard a lot of things just happening, people panicking, people running about. I mean, I've run into this one building and I've seen a, a mirror as I've gone past it. And I've looked at myself, and I've looked at myself in the mirror, and I, I couldn't recognise who I was. I couldn't recognise the person that was looking back at me. It's like I stepped into another life. But as the dream goes by, it's like I'm running. I'm trying to. I'm trying to search for people in this in this building. I'm trying to find them. I can hear the voices of people screaming, asking for help, and I'm I'm going to find them to go help them. Then I'm running back and somehow I'm heading towards a bunker. I'm getting everyone into a bunker. Everyone's getting into a bunker. And then I hear a little kid screaming. Like looking around. Crying for its mom, crying for his mum, crying for his dad. And I look up to the sky and I just see a bright light just like it was look like a fireball coming down from the sky. So I've run, I've tried to pick up this kid, I've picked up this kid, yeah, and as the, as I've picked up the kid and turned away like that, so I had my back against this thing, 
all I seen was this big ass bright white light. It's like I couldn't see. I couldn't see nothing. All I seen was this pure white light. Then after a couple of seconds, that light's just gone. Then all I hear is just this massive bang just fly straight past me. It's knocked me over to the floor. The, the force was that powerful. It's just blew me, knocked me to the floor, man. And then next thing you know, I've just felt this heat just melt my entire body. It's melted my body to the point where I've woke up, yeah, and I'm still feeling the heat from that dream. It's like a nuclear bomb exploded and it just wiped out fucking everyone. It was disgusting. But the next night after that, I had, which was, the next night after that, which was the night I'd done this Ouija board app. That night I'd done the Ouija board app, the dream that I had was disgusting. Now I can understand why it says I will see what they see in my dream. It was vile. It was the world that we are living in now. But instead of grass, there was fire pits. And in the fire pits, there was people screaming, clawing to get out of that fire pit. Each road led off to a different direction. All the buildings that was around was absolutely demolished, destroyed, brought down, burnt down. It was it was messed up. And I could hear this voice laughing. I could, I could all I could hear was this voice laughing while I'm looking around, seeing people burning, people screaming, people howling. I look up to the sky and the sky is just blood red. It's just blood red and filled with smoke. And when I think back to now after that point, I cannot remember what happened in that dream. All I know is I woke up, I woke up, and I was absolutely pissed off. When I mean I was pissed off, I woke up, yeah, and all, the only thing that I was saying was, fuck. I was screwed. I was vexed. I was pissed. And, um, after that, that day is just pretty much a little blur to me. Because my mind was just, it was a gone. When I mean it was gone, it was gone. Now that I've explained like some things, I know I've missed out a lot, but I'm just gonna leave it all down in the video. You can check that video out for yourself. Uh, you can see it for yourself. But I'm gonna skip straight to the necrophonic session. So I'll pick this camera up when I'm ready to do the necrophonic session. But just remember, if you like these types of videos, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload. I will try to be uploading every single week. And I'll see you lot in the necrophonic session. Right, and we're back. Um, we're going to be doing the necrophonic session. And for my own sanity, and for the sanity of everyone else, I'm going to screen record this. Um, let me just uh, quickly get my screen recorder on. Bear with me. Now, I'm kind of skeptical about doing this because the simple fact is there's questions that I want answers to and there's stuff that I want to know. But at the same time, it needs to be done because it's going to help me, it's going to benefit me further down the line. The recording date is 30th of June. 2022 and the time is 16.20 at the time of this recording <sighs> screen recording starts media sounds in 3, 2, 1 now right, now the screen recording should be up, uh, it should be on the screen right now um, I am going to be doing a stop start I'm going to be doing the stop start technique I'm going to ask my question, I'm going to start it, then I'm going to stop it once it's responded. Everything, make sure everything's turned up to the max, volume's max on my uh, Turtle Beach headset. Volume's maxed out now on my phone as you will see. Right. Is there anyone there that wishes to uh, communicate with me.
I have a few questions I would like to ask. Uh, would you be able to answer these questions for me? First question I want to ask, what did you mean when you said you broke a lonely spirit? <coughs> Okay, okay. What did you mean by when you said I just want to taste? I heard that clear as day, that was of you, they want a taste of me. What is the warning that you've been giving to me that I have not been hearing? What did you mean by when you said or oh, your daughter? <laughs> How can these words? You do realise I'm not going to let nothing happen to my child. Do you realise that? Good. Is there going to be any harm that's going towards my daughter? <laughs> Did you mention all your daughter as a little joke? Well, I think that clarifies it. I think that clarifies it. It's not... It's not you think your life... You turned around and said to me that my life will get better. What do you mean by that? <laughs> freedom. I heard freedom at the end. Of freedom or fearless. What do you mean by you, you might challenge my faith? Um. What did you mean by when you said her name Felice, girl first? <laughs> Can you tell can you tell me the name of the girl? I'm not too sure if that was it then. All I know is it ends in a T. Like T I E or I E or something like that. The other day when I was doing the Ouija board, did you want me to demand a sign? Was you pushing for me to demand a sign?
Okay. Okay. What did you mean by when you said you bear the cross? Is there something about myself that I'm missing, that I'm forgetting? I think they mentioned desperate they are. What do you mean by desperate they are? Who's desperate? Okay then. When you said, I'm coming, who's coming? Okay then. When is he due to arrive? When will he be arriving? I have heard he never left or is or he is already there. What did you mean by you must own the tape? What tape are you on about? You should know. I should know. What did you mean by use more power? Okay. I'm trying to not make this video as long because the editing of this video is just, it's going to be brutal. Uh, I edit the videos myself, so, I mean, I don't mind doing it, it gives me something to do, but it's just time consuming. What did you mean by think of the little girl, mama? What did you mean by that? Okay. Do you m the term when you say mama? Do you mean the woman that is currently uh, contact with me on YouTube? <laughs> yeah, mama. Um, that does clarify. M mama does mean you. Prob I think. I could be mishearing. I think I'm mishearing. What you want is the truth. What is the truth? <laughs> Who is the true Lord? When you said he can talk to me, who was that referring to? Okay then. Further down, further down the line, you said forgive us. Okay, I forgive you. He. <laughs> No, I didn't. He did. He did it. I think it was he did it. I think it was. Alright, uh, what else did I want to ask? I mean, there's a lot that I am missing. Uh, there's a lot that I want to ask. There's a lot that I want to go through. You say keep pushing, I'm coming, until you hear that sound. What sound do you want me to hear? What 
did you mean when you said Jesus was not the guy? Remember. What do you mean by you'll only lie to? You say there's three that whispers. What do you mean by there's three that whispers? So there's three that whispers and one of them's a demon. I heard probably then. What is the demon's name? Again, what is the name of this demon? Who is Dennis or Denise? Wow. Okay then, I hear you loud and clear. Okay. You say our punks thoroughly. Are you trying to call me a punk? Okay. You say no, we're coming worldwide. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I heard that there is a storm coming. Right, are you on about something that's happening on the planet or are you on about something that's happening out of this world that's heading towards us? Okay. Is there anything that I can do to help? <laughs> Do you need my help for anything? <laughs> anything that I'm doing on this, uh, it will be brought up on screen right here. Uh, so, if there's anything that I'm missing when I'm editing the video, I will bring it up on screen and I will clarify that. What do you mean by when you said get house? We said two. You broke them. You know what happened if you don't move them. What do you mean by that? Oh, I want to ask something, but I don't know if I want to ask it. What do you see me as? What do you see me as? <laughs> Who am I to you? Um. Again. Just to clarify that, who am I to you? Three. And I saw her face, now I'm a believer. I'm so sorry.
When you said he empowered girl, what did you mean by empowered girl? What is the girl's name? Oh boy. Who we okay. Do you mind? I'm trying to do a video. Okay. This girl that you're mentioning, who is she to me? Okay, uh, alright, I'm not doing this anymore. Right, thank you for coming through, but I'm gonna go now. Is that perfectly fine if I leave? That? No, I'm going. Right, I'm done with that. I'm done. Right, I'm I'm done. Right, this has been a weird, a weird video. It's different to the ones that I normally do. Like, it's somewhat different, it's somewhat the same, I mean... I'm gonna leave this video here and I might do a part two to it uh, as a carry on from today's video. The time is now, 16.40. 30th of June 2022 and there was a lot of things in that video that I have heard that I did listen to and I will be bringing it up on screen um, if you like these types of videos make sure you like comment subscribe turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload I will try to be uploading at least once every week Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see all you guys in the next video. Peace.